This is CNN Breaking News. It's now 11 p.m. in eastern Taiwan, and search and rescue operations are stretching into the darkness of night. After this morning's earthquake, nine people are confirmed dead, and more than 900 people are injured. This is the most powerful earthquake to strike the island in 25 years. The quake hit during morning rush hour. It measured a magnitude of 7.4. This dash camera video captures a violent jolt sharply rocking these cars and a bus and bringing traffic to a standstill. And take a look at this video. The earthquake has triggered landslides like the one you see here. Dozens of people have been freed from highway tunnels that were cut off. Dozens more are awaiting help. We're covering all the angles right now. CNN's Ivan Watson is in Taiwan's capital of Taipei. Ivan, what's the latest? What are you seeing as far as the rescue efforts are underway? Right. Well, as you pointed out, Wolf, this was the most powerful earthquake to hit this island in a quarter century. People are used to earthquakes here, but even my colleagues behind the camera, one of them shaken awake this morning, another one running to uh, embrace and hold on to his, his wife and children as things kind of started falling off the walls. And Taipei is a good 100 miles away from the epicenter in Hualien County. That is this rugged, mountainous region uh, that is popular for tourists who try to go there for hiking, for the cliffs and very high mountains. Uh, and it's largely cut off from the north of the island because of avalanches and landslides. Uh, some of the people that have been killed there, they were killed by falling rocks. One person killed by a rock hitting him on, uh, on a highway. Others, hikers who were hit on a hiking trail. There have been rescues going out throughout the day. Uh, up to 70 people that were trapped in different highway tunnels uh, where uh, they were blocked off by avalanches, fortunately rescued. But the authorities are saying there's still perhaps around 140 people in different parts of that county that are still cut off and still requiring rescue. And we don't really have uh, any account from the authorities on what their situation is right now. Take a listen to, to two survivors of this earthquake. It was very strong. It felt as if the whole house was going to topple. All the things fell off. Everything's damaged. Now here in Taipei, even though the traffic is moving and, and, and it feels like life as usual, there's still one hospital that is reportedly not fully functional because of some damage it had. Uh, there are about 100 buildings that re reported damage. There are still rescue efforts that are underway right now. More than 900 people injured in this disaster and there are still aftershocks. The Taiwanese authorities are predicting that you could still get aftershocks as powerful as 7.0 magnitude over the next three to four days. The U.S. Geological Survey has reported more than uh, two dozen aftershocks, some with a magnitude of five and six, uh, and that is hitting areas that have already been very much shaken up by the power of this historic earthquake. Yeah, I'm really worried about those aftershocks, so stay safe over there, uh, Ivan. Thank you very, very much. Uh, I want to go to the CNN Weather Center right now. Our meteorologist, Elisa Rafa, is joining us. Elisa, why is this area uh, seemingly so prone to earthquakes? They are so prone, and we call it the ring of fire. This is where our tectonic plates that make up the Earth all kind of meet, and where they meet at that point, they can move. We've got live magma underneath, and once they move, they can move, they collide, they can crash, and that's where we get the earthquakes. And you can see Southeast Asia, Eastern Asia, all the way up to Japan is really ground zero for where we get all of this seismic activity. That's where more than 450 of our volcanoes are. 90% of the world's earthquakes all happen in in this region because that's where the tectonic plates meet. Now this seven plus point magnitude earthquake is kind of rare, rare worldwide. We only see about 15 of them per year. You can see the smaller ones are much, much more common. But when you get the big one, the destruction is just incredible. We're looking at buildings that are crooked, toppled upside down, you know, rescue missions needing to happen all day. And, you know, like, like we mentioned, we're going into the night. So an incredibly massive seven point magnitude earthquake on the east coast there of Taiwan. There actually were some 
from um, tsunami alerts overnight. Those have been cleared and we have had on 29 aftershocks that have been four point magnitude or higher. Most of them have been on the order of five point magnitude. So those aftershocks can really do even more damage, except especially for the structures that are already vulnerable. They're already crooked and upside down. As we go through the next couple of days, Taiwan is looking at some showers. So that could, uh, you know, really hurt some of the rescue and some of the cleanup efforts there, Wolf. All right, we'll watch it together with you, Elisa Rafa at the CNN Weather Center. Thank you very much.